Hey guys, this is Stephanie and I'm Stacks on Stacks on Stacks. Today I'm coming to you guys with my October book haul, which I didn't think I would have an October book haul because, you know, book jail and all of that. But I have received the birthday gift of a lifetime from my husband. Not only did he get me new lights, which I love, he bought books for me. <laughs> so I'm going to make this a pretty quick book haul because there are a lot of books. I did get a bunch of books from my library's annual sale. It's like a fundraiser. Hardbacks are $2, softbacks are $1. They like quadrupled their prices from last year. I know. I took some footage of it, so I'm gonna show that first before I show the books I got. I'm gonna insert that footage here of the book sale itself. Now, I didn't take a ton of footage. I felt really weird. I recorded with my iPad, so I felt really weird, like, recording people, like, that are just kind of looking at me like, why are you recording me? Or why are you holding your iPad up? What's wrong with you? And I'm just like, I felt weird. I probably feel more weird if it's a camera, but, Still, I felt kind of weird, so I panned over and I did the walking in a little bit, and I, I definitely got my husband in there too. So I'm gonna share that little bit of footage now, and then I'm gonna get into the books. books from book outlet not a lot just a few though the box they gave me was ginormous and it's really not even heavy like I can tell it's a half full of like paper but I was like why did you guys send me a ginormous box I literally got like nine books so whatever so I will add up at the end of this how many books I actually have obtained in the month of October they're literally like stacked right here in front of me so we'll start with the first one it is a Sophie Kinsella book called Can You Keep a Secret? And I actually got a few Sophie Kinsella's. I got Can You Keep a Secret? I got Remember Me. And I got The Undomestic Goddess. I don't know what any of these books are about, but I know I like Sophie Kinsella. I know her writing makes me laugh and I enjoy her books immensely. They're actually one of those books I can read when I'm like in a grumpy mood or something like that, or I don't know what to read. I can usually pick up a Sophie Kinsella and it's just one of those books that kind of I don't know, makes me laugh and makes me smile. So yay, Sophie. I also got Timeline by Michael Creighton. Now here's the thing, guys. I've never read a Michael Creighton. I know, but I'm going to be reading Jurassic Park probably soon. I think, think I'm going to save that one for December and do that for my book versus movie. But it has made me want to read more Michael Creighton. I've just heard nothing but amazing things about him. And this one has time travel and I like time travel. So I got it. Now you are also going to notice that I have a few mass market paperbacks in here. And I know you've watched my 25 bookish facts about me. You know that I hate mass market paperbacks, but when they're a dollar, seriously, like it is hard to not buy them. I also got, oh, this has a sticker on it. I'm going to take that off. Stickers on books are the worst. People should be fined or flogged or sentenced to like two years and you can only read one book or something like that because it's terrible trying to get a sticker off of a book without tearing the cover. Ugh, and this isn't going to come off all the way. Stink it. See, you can still see a little bit of that sticker on there. Oh, well, this is Scarlet by Alexander Ripley. I loved Gone with the Wind, and I probably read this one in like maybe ninth grade or so. Um, and I have a mass market paperback, which I don't really like, and so I got a hardcover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I also got one book on disc, and that was The Host by Stephanie Meyer. And that's because I don't remember who read this. 
Oh, Kate Redding. Kate Redding reads this and I love Kate Redding. Like if she reads something, I probably just listen to a book because she was reading it. There are a few authors. I would also listen to a book if, um, if Davina Porter read it too, because I think she's amazing. She reads the Outlander books and many, many others. But yeah, this was $3 and they had a lot. They had a lot of books I had read. They had a lot of books I thought about reading, but we have such a great digital library in our town that I was kind of like, eh, I don't know. So I got this one because actually this is one I've listened to a few times and I think I would listen to it again and again and again. So I got it. I also got Storm Glass by Maria V. Schneider. I do not know what this is about, but I like Maria V. Schneider. I like her writing. So I think I would like this book. Texts from Jane Eyre. Now this is by Mallory Fortberg. Um, this is really, really cute. I actually first saw this oddly enough on Audible and somebody's comment was, I liked it, but I think I'd like the, the physical book better. And that's an odd comment to see on, uh, on Audible. But as you can see, it looks like texts and it's not just from Jane Eyre. It's and other conversations with your favorite literary characters. So I saw this and I was like, too stinking cute for words. They, and they have a bunch of them. They have Hamlet, they have King Lear, they have the Wife of Bath, they have Don Quixote and Emma, Great Expectations, Treasure Island, The Outsiders, Nancy Drew, Fight Club, Sun Also Rises, The Hunger Games, The Lorax, Rebecca, and Harry Potter. So I don't know when I'll be picking this up. I think it's gonna hit my TBR shelf pretty soon. And I think it's probably one I'd wanna read during a readathon because it just looks so fun and interesting. Um, I do know that there's some explicit language in here, but outside of that, it looks pretty cute. Next, I got Brave New World by Aldous Huxley. I have never read this, but maybe now that I have it, I will. I do know that it is a classic. It is like the ultimate dystopian book. So I'm hoping I'll get to it. I'm not particularly in the mood for it right now or anything, but whenever I do want to read it, I have it. I also got Half Magic, and this is by Edward Egger. This is a book, boy, it has a ton of stickers on it. This is a book that I actually, I remember reading this to my sisters who are just a little bit older than me when I was learning to read. It was one of those books, like I learned to read on those Dick and Jane books, those Dick and Jane and Spot books. That's what I remember learning to read on. But I remember at one point reading this book to my sisters. And this is a series of like six, seven little books. Like none of them are very big, they're all small. Uh, but I think I've only read the first two uh, of these and I think I have the second one upstairs but I don't have the first one but I do now. I also got The Queen of Babel by Meg Cabot. Boy these lights are glary. Let's see. Oh there we go. I also got The Queen of Babel by Meg Cabot. Now the funny thing is I have the second and third book to this one but not the first so now I have the first. I also got Serena and the Black Cloak by Robert Beatty. Betty? Not really sure. Um, this is one, I don't know, I heard about it a couple of years ago on booktube and then there's a sequel to it too and I just thought it sounded to look cute and it was a dollar, so hooray. I also got Hava, The Story of Eve, a novel by Tosca Lee. Now she's a Nebraska author, somewhat local, so I saw it for a dollar and decided to get it. I don't really know much about it except that it's the story of Eve. Next I got A Man Called Ove, a novel by Frederick Backman. I think it's Ove, like over without an R. I, I think it's Swedish and I don't speak Swedish, so. I've heard from a lot of people on BookTube that this is actually a really great book, that it seems like it'd be kind of boring, it's following this older guy and his life or what have you, but it actually has gotten great reviews, so it's definitely one I wanna pick up. I also got Night Film by Marisha Pessel, and again, this is one that I've also heard about on BookTube quite a bit, and it's a few years old. I actually thought it was gonna be new, because I feel like I'm just hearing about it now. And it's supposed to be kind of scary and eerie, and it's also in a slightly different format. They have things like like uh, notes like that, and then they have like articles. I saw one, there it is. Like there's an article of sorts. So um, I do know it's something about this famous guy's daughter is found dead. Basically, that's all I really know about it. Um, but it sounded kind of interesting. It does sound kind of dark, but every once in a while I can read a dark book occasionally. I also got Odd Thomas by Dean Koontz. I've never read this series, but I've always kind of been interested in it. My husband picked up Enchantment by Orson Scott Card. I have no idea what this is about, but I do like Orson Scott Card's writing. I read the Ender's Game and the Ender's Shadow series oh, long, long time ago. Um, and I do enjoy his writing. So we picked up this one. 
I don't know if it's gonna go on my TBR or anything, but Mark said it was good. He also added a few other books into the box that I was toting all my books around in, and he added Temeraire in the Service of the King by Naomi Novak. I hadn't heard of this, and he's like, you haven't heard of it? It's like the ultimate dragon book, and I was like, no. So I have it now, and he really wants me to read this series. So it's probably one that I will be reading. He also added The Death and Life of Superman by Roger Stern, and um, I thought this was a comic book, and it is not a comic book, but Mark said it was good. He said it's definitely worth reading. He said he read it a long time ago, so I will probably read it eventually. Next, I have The Girl Who Fell Beneath Fairyland and Led the Rebels There by Catherine M. Vallant. Now, I have the rest of the series. I just didn't have this one specific book. And I've been hesitant to buy it on Book Outlet because they only had it in soft cover and I kind of wanted to get in hard cover and I did for two bucks. I also got The Ogre of Ogfort and this is by Eva Ibbotson. And this is a middle grade one. I'm not 100% sure what it's about, but I actually uh, was referred to this by a 10 year old little boy who was looking at books next to me. And I picked it up and looked at it and he said, that's a really good book, you should read it. And I was like, well, if a 10 year old said it's good, it must be good, so I got it. I also got Night Road, a novel by Kristen Hanna. I have no idea what this is about, but I do know that I'm going to be shortly reading The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. And I've heard good things about Kristen Hanna, so I got the book. Next, I got Tippy, a memoir by Tippy Hedren, and it was written by Tippy Hedren and Lindsay Harrison. Now, Tippy Hedren was like a really famous actress through the 60s and 70s. She was best known for the movie The Birds by Alfred Hitchcock, hence this picture here. And she was also in Marnie, which is another Hitchcock, and I've seen her in actually quite a few movies. So I'm not big on nonfiction, but memoirs do interest me. I think it's just her story about uh, her career, how she got into it, and other things, movies and stuff she was in, which I don't think I could name any more outside of those two books. So I will probably pick this up eventually. I also got The Prince's Fury, book five, The Codex Olaria by Jim Butcher. I currently have zero of these books in the series, but it was a $2 hardback and I have seen the mass market paperbacks and they're like, you know, as thick as they are like, big so I don't it's like reading a box so I don't like those I only like the hardbacks and I think I will collect them and I think I will read them I like Jim Butcher as an author I'm just thinking of it as a bit of a future investment and the next two books I got are Her Mother's Hope and Her Daughter's Dream and these are both by Francine Rivers who's an author that I have probably been reading since maybe middle school she is a Christian author and this is actually a really great duology and it spans from a mother to her daughter, to her daughter, to her daughter. So it spans four generations of women. Um, and just like the struggles and how struggles can be inherited from mother to daughter. And actually, I really did enjoy these books. I read them a few years ago and then they had them for $2 a piece and they're in very good shape. So I was like, why not? Now, all the next books I got are um, In Death Books by J.D. Robb. And um, this is like the only time you actually buy them. I bought a few outside of this, um, but otherwise I kind of just make a list of the ones I don't have and I buy them because I have probably 30 of the 45. So I'm missing some, but not all. And I like to buy them when they're $2 because I like these books, but I wouldn't say I love these books, but I have most of the series. So I'm kind of like, well, I might as well just get the rest. So I got Apprentice in Death, Festive in Death, Brotherhood in Death, Origin in Death, Indulgence in Death, Kindred in Death, and New York to Dallas. Now these are all in the same In Death series. Like I said, I have, I have a lot of them. I don't have all of them, but I have an awful lot of them. And I do think that one day I will probably own the whole series. And as most of you know, the author is J.D. Robb, who's also Nora Roberts. Now the next three books are actually books that I received in my book boxes, and I'm gonna go through those quickly. I can link my most recent book battle below, which I actually haven't posted it yet, so it will get linked below, but it's not there currently. I know, it's some sort of a time travel thing, I'm sure. First one is Perfectly Undone by Jamie Raintree, Wild Beauty by Anne Marie McLemore, and Free Fall by Joshua David Bellin. And if you wanna know more about any of these three, I talk more about them in the unboxing. And now for the box. Now, like I said, I didn't get a ton of books, so I'm not 100% sure why they sent me, you know, a huge box. I can, I can feel that it's mostly stuffing. Oh, 
All right, so the first one I got is Perfected. Perfection comes at a price by Kate Drack Birch. Now, I don't know when this hit my want list on Goodreads, but it did. And then it showed up there and I was like, you know what? I think I'd be up for that one. And I don't know why this is on my list, but I sure do like that dress. It's beautiful. I also got Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, a graphic novel by Swenson Kilwalski and Shabal. And of course the original is by Robert Louise Stevenson. And this is a graphic novel, which I enjoy of classic literature. Woo. I also got A Million Worlds With You by Claudia Gray. This is the third and final book in the Thousands Pieces of You trilogy. I read the first one. I finished the first one this month, so I'm glad I have the third one. And I have the second one right there. Oh boy, I got more graphic novels. But first, Fate of the Tearling. This is by Erica Johansson. I have the first two, though I think my first one of Queen of the Tearling is in softback, so I might have to look for it in hardback so that they match a little more. It is a series I enjoyed. I've only read the first one, but I will be getting the other ones. I also got The Grace of Kings by Ken Liu. This is one that I've been hearing about lately, and so I kind of wanted to get my hands on it and read it. I will admit it is thicker than I thought it would be, but I heard that it's epic and amazing, so... It's one I'll probably get to. I got Quidditch Through the Ages by Kenilworthy Wisp, also by J.K. Rowling. This is just a little one that I can put on my Harry Potter shelf. Then I got Once Upon a Dream, A Twisted Tale by Liz Braswell. And I believe that this is a um, Sleeping Beauty retelling, and I'm up for that. And I also got This Adventure Ends by Emma Mills. This, ooh, lost the box. This one is actually one that Jesse the Reader recommended um, as an unhyped book that he thought was really, really good. And then I went and looked for it on Book Outlet and they had it, so I got it. And then the last three I got are all three graphic novels. I have really been beefing up on my graphic novel section of my library. Uh, first one is the complete collection of tragedy series, Secret Lobster Claws and Other Misfortunes, written and drawn by Benjamin Dewey. And I think I saw this one on April Sarah's channel. Um, I also was going to get the Lovelace and Bigsby one, but uh, it exited my cart before I bought. So I didn't get it, but I'll read that one another time. But I did get this one, and it looks pretty cute. It's kind of old-fashioned, but I've really been liking graphic novels lately. I also got the gigantic beard that was evil. And this is by Stephen Collins. And I don't know much about this, except it's a guy who I think doesn't really have facial hair and then one day he does and I think it turns him evil or he lives in a town where people don't have hair. I don't know, but I will read it and I'll let you know. And the last book that I have is The Sculptor by Scott McCloud. And again, it is a graphic novel. Um, I think it's a guy who like makes a deal with the devil. He can live for a year, but everything he draws like comes to life or has meaning or something along those lines. And it is a pretty chunky one. I actually think that this is one I'm probably gonna save for a readathon down the road. So I will get through it quicker and it'll look like I'm reading a lot, but it's really a graphic novel. So I got 46 books and one book on CD. So what happened was we went to the checkout at the book sale and my husband said, I'm going to pay for this. And I was like, well, you know, my money's your money, whatever. And he's like, no, this is my money that I have been hoarding so I can pay for this. So you can get all of these books and stay out of book jail. And my heart just, you know, this is the sweetest thing in the world. And then I said, but I also got some books on Book Outlet because I kind of threw in the towel earlier this month. And he said, as long as it's under this certain amount, you'll be fine. And it was, because I only got like 11 books and they were having this super big sale. So, so that wasn't a problem. But basically I got all these books and I have no guilt and I will probably be getting out of book jail. <laughs> However, once I'm out, I do have to stick to a five book a month thing, so. We'll see how that works. That is all I have for you guys today. I mean, that was a lot of books, but that's all I have. Please feel free to comment down below. Let me know which book you think I should be reading first or what I should be putting on my TBR shelf so I can read that first. I post videos on Tuesdays and Fridays, so you can always find me here on Tuesdays and Fridays. Please feel free to like or subscribe or share, or you can even click the bell and it'll notify you every time I have a video come up. Again, Tuesdays and Fridays. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate that you guys watch my videos. I love it when you comment, so please comment. Thank you so much. I love you all, and I will see you later. Goodbye. So that book outlet box. What did that one show up? Magic. Uh -huh. It's magic, 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 but it's magic, magic. And, and who paid for that one? Mark. <laughs>
so excited because he, he's like, I told him, I said, well, I just kind of gave up since I knew I was going to be spending money at the sale. And I decided I would just order some books and book outlet. How much did you spend? I'm like, like 22 bucks, not very much. I just, there were a couple books they had, which they haven't had in the past. Mm -hmm. And he's like, I'll pay for those. And I was like, what? To your magic book fairy. I didn't know I had a magic book fairy. He also told me not to count on it again. 